Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have four letters that I want to open up on camera with you guys. It's not going to be a full um, mail opening video because I'm going to do a little tutorial, um, mail art tutorial at the end. But I thought I would open these four up since they came over the last couple of weeks and show you what's inside. So let's get on with the video. So the first mail is from Singapore and it's wrapped really cute in this tissue paper. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, what do we have? So we've got a Japanese green tea. Let me do this. Bring this in focus. Oh, I can't wait to drink that one. I might drink that a bit later. Oh, we've got a little Happy New Year. So this is the letter inside of here. I really like the way she's designed the top of this. And then we've got some goodies. So I'm pretty sure these are stickers. Oh, cool. I think they might be like the rub-on ones. Yeah, they are. So you cut out the flower and then you rub it onto the mail art. And there's some really beautiful designs in here. Oh, this is cool. What's this? So we've got a, a face mask. I'll have to try that one out. And we've got some more goodies. Let me bring this up in focus. So we've got a whole bunch of post-it notes. These are so cool. Thank you so much. And let me just get the person's name who sent me this so I can say thank you. So this letter was sent from Tracy, so thank you so much. I can't wait to read your letter. Um, and it was actually sent on the 25th of December, so it's taken a long time to come. Um, but I really do appreciate it, and I can't wait to use all your goodies and drink the tea as well. So this next letter is from Amy from New Zealand. Oh my goodness, the letter's actually on top. Hello Brittany, thanks for all the inspiration from your lovely YouTube channel. I'm really enjoying your content. Love hearing an Aussie accent too. So familiar to me across the... What does that say? Ditch in New Zealand. Hope you enjoy this beachy bundle. Oh, I'm really excited to open this up. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god, there's lots of little bundles. It really is an adorable little beachy bundle. Alright, what have we got? Oh my goodness, I thought it smelled delicious. So it's homemade soap samples. This is so cool. Thank you. I'll have to put this straight into the bathroom and use it. Can you see that? And then we've also got some lovely washi tape, some tea. <laughs> open carefully and sparkles that's so cute this is such an adorable little handmade pack I love this idea and it was quite a flat um, letter as well like nothing was too bulky so it would have probably gone through the normal post we've got some beautiful samples of this blue twine beachy scents yum And then stickers. How cool. Oh, I really like that one. I think these ones are homemade as well. This is such a beautiful little kit. And this one looks like it's handmade too. It's like a little folder with these adorable little, um, what are they called, buttons. That's holding it all together. And it says paper. This is so cute. 
You can make a little junk journal using these. Oh my goodness, if I actually stapled this together like that, that could be your own little junk journal. Thank you, I appreciate all this. Um, and then the letter was on top of it here. So I can't wait to start using the soap and using all the beautiful gifts that you gave me. Thank you. So this next one is from Lily from Honolulu. And I've just taken out of its um, bigger envelope just because there's an address on the front. But I wanted to show you all these little mini envelopes that are inside. This is so cute. What have we got in here? Is this a little lolly? Oh, it's a jelly! <laughs> it's all squishy inside. Aloha! I think that's a little letter inside of this adorable mini mail. And then we've got these beautiful papers that actually look like they're from the Chinese New Year. And then we've got some more papers here. Oh my goodness, it actually says Morning Glory down the bottom. I used to love that shop when I was young. I used to come to Sydney and buy all the stationery from Morning Glory. <laughs> and then we've got some more goodies inside. Another little jelly. And then these look like more bags from the Chinese New Year celebrations. This one looks like the Year of the Dog. I'm not sure where these ones are from. And then more writing paper. Oh, cute. Another one. I think this is another little letter. Oh, no. Actually, it's an 80s playlist. Oh, very cute. <laughs> Eat, sleep, shall repeat. And then some, oh, this Hello Kitty one's so cute. And the Powerpuff Girls. Thank you so much. That is such a cute little envelope full of goodies. Hopefully this one has your letter inside. I'll just double check. Oh no, this is another cute little playlist. So we've got, where'd that other playlist go? There it is. So we've got two playlists that both say Aloha on the front. We've got all these little envelopes and they look like Chinese New Year envelopes. A whole bunch of cute adorable papers and some jellies as well. So thank you so much Lily, I appreciate you sending me something in the mail. So this last one is from the United States from Olivia. It just came in this envelope here, I just wanted to show you what it came in because a lot of people are curious how people wrap their letters and how they get sent. So this one is so pretty. I really like these stickers on top. Oops, I'm going to have to cut this. But I do like the wrapping. <laughs> and it says goodies. Oh, we've got Pokemon washi tape. That is so cute. I want to try to keep that intact. Maybe I'll chop it from the top. Nope, I'm going to rip it. Okay, so the large envelope had two little mini envelopes inside. Oh, and this says open me. What is it? It's the origami crane. I thought there might have been a letter inside, but I think it's just an origami crane. This is so cute. I've always wanted to know how to make these. Alright, I'll put that one aside. Oh, that's so cute. It says, I hope you enjoyed everything. <laughs> that was a little letter that said over me. Okay, what's inside this little goodie bag? And again, this one is handmade and it's got Pokemon washi tape all over. I'm gonna have to rip. Oops, I think there was writing inside. Oh no, it was just a handmade envelope. Yes, we've got the washi tape. We've got the smaller washi tape as well. And I think, I really don't want to rip this in case there's... Oh 
Okay, I'm going to have to rip it the whole way down. Okay, oh cute. Okay, so those actually sat within this little pocket here. And it says the Pokemon Washi Taper from Japan. And then we've got all these adorable little stickers here, similar to the ones that were decorated on the front of the envelope too. Thank you, I can't wait to use these adorable washi tape um, samples. The sticker, uh, the, yeah, the washi tape samples. What am I talking about? This one says extra goodies. So I'm going to open up the washi tape because last time I think I ripped and I wasn't meant to. Extra goodies and some more stickers from Japan. I've never been a huge Pokemon fan, but these are just so cute. Thank you. Let me do a close up for you guys. Can you see that? How cute are all these little stickers? So that was everything inside the goodies envelope and let me know in the comments below if anyone wants to see me make a Pokemon themed um, snail mail. I used to watch Pokemon when I was a kid all the time. Um, it used to be on the morning TV, like the kid shows around, I think it was before you went to school, or they might have been the afternoon kid shows. So I did used to love Pokemon, but I'm not as obsessed as a lot of people are these days. Um, but I wouldn't mind making a Pokemon theme because I think it'd be such a cute, um, a cute theme to do. And I can choose some really cute Pokemon to make a nice like pastel themed snail mail. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me make a tutorial, a Pokemon themed tutorial. Oh, I was going to try to keep this intact but I'm ripping this so much. Oh how cute. So we've got like a little mini tea set here. Again, Pokemon around the top. That's really cute. So we've got green tea, which I don't know if you guys know, but green tea is my favorite. I have a green tea every day at work. A nice peach. We've also got chamomile, which is my second favorite. And then an English breakfast. Thank you so much. And I like that you've designed the front. It even looks like a little envelope as well. Thank you. And then we've got the letter inside, but the letter looks bulky. So... I'll see what also is in here. Eep. I didn't want to rip it. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that crush stuff is. There's not so this is the letter here. I don't know if you guys saw that when I pulled it out. And then there's something inside here, and it's like leaving little flakes of something. Oh, these are so cute. They're little cards. Let me do a close up on this. Oh, I love these. I don't know if they're handmade or not. How cute. I'd love to know where you got these from. Thank you so much. I really loved everything in this letter. And that's it for what I got in the mail um, over the last couple of weeks. So I appreciate everyone who sent me something in the mail. And I'll get on with a little snail mail tutorial for you guys for the rest of this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
Thank you. 